Welcome to Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about ball. It's Andrade and Irwin back at it again. And ladies and gentlemen, Hoop Central giving us another classic topic, because this one's going to be one that we could talk about for years. And y'all already see it. Assuming they are both future MVPs, which player wins an MVP first? And those two players are Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer, Luka Doncic, and possible future Hall of Famer in Jason Tatum. And yes, I'm ready, jumping on the bandwagon that Luka Doncic is going to be a lock for Hall of Fame. I mean, if he keeps, he keeps on smoking hookah like we're seeing in the memes, man, he's going to be like Dion Waiters, what? No, He'll be I'm in the Twitter Hall of Fame. No, nah, I'm just kidding, man. No, he's not, man. He's, do, he's doing his damn thing. The man, yeah. the man is allowed to enjoy his offseason only because he shows up on one picture does not mean that he's not grinding. Oh, yeah. And people even said, like, oh, this generation always thinks, like, if it ain't on video, if you don't got clips, you're not working, you're exactly. not grinding. Like, yo... Yeah, people are stupid. Yeah, exactly, man. It's like back in the day, man. If you didn't check into the gym, you didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. Like you have to put it in your store. Those yeah, people yeah, are whack. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I guys, I just want to <laughs> warn that I don't usually hop too early on trying to claim someone as a future Hall of Famer or whatever. But Luka Doncic is a different, different beast. He's a uh, different beast. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, he is, man. He's also your boy, but yeah, I mean, bias or no bias, man. Yeah, the, no, the that's guy, me being the, unbiased. The guy can fucking ball. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got a finesse. To, he's got that it factor. He's uh, got that it factor. But before you guys assume things of who we're gonna pick, you know, um, especially on my case, um, let's go straight to the question, man. Assuming they both, assuming they are both MVPs, which player wins MVP first, Luca or Jason? As we've been doing before, we're gonna count this down. Three, two, one, Luka. Tatum. I knew you were going to say Tatum. Of course, man. I'm like, I'm like come on, man. It, it, it definitely could happen. Um, oh, it could. I mean, yeah, absolutely. could. Yeah, yes. not could. <laughs> uh, but it, 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 it could realistically happen first. Here's my reason why when it comes to uh, Tatum. He's in the weaker conference, in the Eastern Conference. Good point. Uh, the Celtics, they, let, they, uh, they, um, they don't have Kemba Walker anymore. They don't have Evan Fournier. This offense is going to be better suited for Jason Tatum to do his thing. And what's Jason Tatum's thing? Score and fucking bunches. And he was already doing that before. Already with Kemba there, hogging up the ball. Just imagine what's going to happen right now. And there's not going to be that many expectations with the Celtics. Like, if you ask a lot of people, like, shit, they're probably going to be in the middle of the pack or whatnot. Babe, the Celtics can overachieve and win 50 plus games in the Eastern Conference, get a top four seed in a big market like I was the Celtics. Say, you think they can get a top four and seed? His, and his numbers go up even more than what he does? Yeah, okay. man. Tatum's going to win that MVP for sure. Compared to Luka, yes, Luka has been an all NBA uh, selection, all star. Doing this damn thing, a three-time, you know, Andrade's boys uh, uh, <laughs> select list. But the fact is, you know, uh, while he's gonna go in bunches, he's in a much tougher, tougher conference in the Western Conference, which means it's good and bad. But it's gonna be bad in the case that the Mavs, man, maybe they're gonna be a six seed, mm-hmm. maybe a, a a fifth seed, probably a seven seed out there in the West. And I'm not saying that much to the to 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 the Mavs. I'm saying more to the Western Conference. It's going to be very tough for, for the Mavs to be able to do that. Okay, I'll give you the Western Conference thing. I'll mm-hmm. give you the Western Conference thing for sure. Mm-hmm. What I am a little doubtful with is whether the Celtics can become a top four seed, even in the East. It's easier. But it is easier. That I also agree with. Now, I think Luka becoming first MVP because I, I think he's at a point in his career now where he's kind of got to do something that kind of solidifies him as, yes, I am one of the top 10 players in the NBA. Because it's it's like a general consensus among young fans and older fans Mm -hmm. that as young as Luka is, he's already a top 10, at least top 15 player in the entire league. Mm -hmm. Correct? You would agree with that? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you could put that. Now, he's put up the numbers. He's done it in in the regular season. He's done it in the postseason. The only problem is that he hasn't been able to win rounds like in the in the postseason. But Tatum has done it as well in the postseason as well, and he's advanced further than Luca has. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Made it to the conference so the twice. reason I bring that up with Luca is that now he's at a point in his career where it's not just him, but his team probably in agreement on like, okay, bro, you gotta do something that kind of gets people to realize that you're legit. 
He you can't legit. just keep making all these all NBA teams. You can't. You got to start winning. You still got to start racking things up, achievements for your portfolio, for your resume. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really have any like hardcore locked in achievements that he can put there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Tatum, like you said, he's at least made a conference final. He's Twice. at least made uh, won a couple of rounds in the postseason. Mm-hmm. Luca's got to do something, and I think this would be. One of those. It's like, okay, rookie of the year. Next, you get an MVP. Giannis got two MVPs before he finally won a championship. So I think Luka is going to go all out for the MVP. If not this year, next year. And that's why within the first two years, I think he could win it before Tatum. Because I'm confident that he will put up the numbers. That man could average 25 plus, 5 and 5 in the regular season. Easy. Okay, you see? Yeah. He's now done that. Yeah. he also doesn't have a second round person who like a second star that would take away that from from him like Tatum. Who knows? Maybe Brown steps up to the plate more. Yeah, he steps and up and he is the number two. Jalen Brown is a legit. No, no, no but two. I mean like start offensively, like, just start t- taking more attention on court. He is man. And he scored. He's a twenty plus point per game score. Okay, okay, but I mean more in the sense where like Tatum's not gonna be averaging as high as a uh, points per game as. As he could. You get what I mean? I mean, but Tatum's going to be doing that because so, that's his strength. That is his strength. But I don't think you understand what I mean. Okay, probably Like, not, they balance each other. They all balanced out the score sheet more as opposed to Luka. It's like, no, all the offensive prowess is going to be on you. So that's what's going to... That's something that kind of wins MVPs. Now, the thing is, can he do it to the point where he can carry the Mavs to a top four seed in the regular season? No, probably That's my not. biggest doubt. But I actually think it's possible, no. even this year, because a lot of people are kind of in the, in the ifs in the in the in the regular season right now. I don't think the Jazz are gonna gun it for all these regular season wins as they did last year. I think, like I to, said, to the they point got that, their woes in the postseason. To the point that they're not so, gonna be a number four seed. No, no. To the point that they're not gonna go for a top two, three seed. So all these other teams, if they have the potential, could go for a top two to three seed, and then. They understand, like, okay, if we get a third or a fourth seed, it doesn't matter. It's all about what we do in the postseason. You know what I mean? I think the Jazz are already in that contention. Like, home court advantage is important in the in the postseason, but it's not as important as just being healthy, being restful, and being ready for the playoffs. You know what I mean? And I think the Jazz are understanding of that. I think the Nuggets are understanding of that. The Lakers are definitely understanding of that. that so sense. it leaves a lot of openings for, like, younger teams and Luca's only 23, so he's got the energy to just, hey, you guys, if you guys have the potential and you guys want to go for it, go for it. So I think Luca will have that lane a little more open than he has in the past fo- uh, couple seasons. So at least go for like a top three to four seed. Mm. Now, can the Mavs do it? Uh, I think so. I think if. so. They locked yeah. hard away. Big mm. if. Chris Stops is the biggest stiff, but maybe Chris Stops. I really wonder if the rumors are true whether Chris Stops hates Luca or not. You know what I mean? No, man. He's just... People bring it up. Even Colin, the coward brought... Was it Colin? Someone else brought... I think it was Colin. Brought it up recently. Like, I don't know how true those rumors are, man. But if they're true, that is really hard. Like, I don't necessarily... I kind of agree with Shaq. You don't need super crazy off-court chemistry to perform on court. You know what I mean? Of course not. But I do believe you'd need some. You know I mean? You can't hate the guy that you're playing with. Shaq and Kobe were a different beast when it came to that because those two were just stupid talented. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I don't know. And also, besides that, so what I got to- this little bit of belief that like, hey, maybe Chris Stubbs becomes the star that we... The second star that we think he could. Remember we were high on it? Yeah, you got to be healthy. I mean, <clears throat> for that to happen. And I right. think maybe so, uh, Okay, so what percentage do you give the Mavs of actually, you know, overachieving to that point that they'll be a top four seed in the West? Cause I give, over the I, next two years? Because I give... Uh, no, uh, for the next year. Or I guess for the next two years. I would years, say over, yeah, because yeah, either of these two... Can, yeah. I don't know if either of these two for sure win it these, this year, but in, over the next two years... Um, I give them a 5% chance. What? I yeah, was going to say 40. 40 nah, to 50. Man, that's way too generous, man. The West is way too tough, especially not for this year, but for it next year. Maybe that's I another, might be blinded that, right that, now that, by that, Luka. That, that's another year of the Lakers. Yes, they got older, but they're like more chemistry for them. Another year for Denver. You know, uh, Jamal. Lakers aren't going to go for a top three seed. They'll be a top four seed even without, not, without trying. 
The Jazz? Without trying. Yeah, man. Who do you think they... these Lakers are, bro? LeBron, Westbrook, Anthony Davis. We're all above 40. <laughs> I mean, maybe Anthony Davis' knees. The Jazz. The Suns. You know they made the finals Dude, last year, Davis right? Davis has to rest his legs. Okay. No doubt. LeBron? LeBron is turning 37. Yeah. Turning 37. Yeah, bro, but a LeBron 37 is like a 25 year old. Like nah, for the nah, average nah, guy. nah. Now at 37, he's probably going to be like a 30 something year old NBA player. The average okay. 30 year old son. And Westbrook, I doubt is going to be as explosive, but Westbrook was brought in, to, you know, to help alleviate the regular season to get them going. But yeah. like, I don't expect they're still overall older team. Overall, too, not even just those three. Everyone else, yeah, pretty much, yeah. one of the oldest, if not the oldest team in the in the in, the, in history in this season right now, <laughs> uh, possibly. Uh, so I see them going for like a fifth, sixth seed because they don't need it, man. Like LeBron can be away, and you already you still believe that okay, they're gonna they're, they could win that series. Like well, fuck it, what was it that line last year against the Suns? They were the oh, they're the first for the first two seed to pull the upset. Oh uh, yeah, 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 no, no, no but they, like the, they were the the first two, first two the, seed to pull an upset in the first the round. The first seven seed to be the fifth, some shit. Right, uh, was it that? Yeah, I don't know. They said I had no dunks, man. Congrats yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Suns. The first two seed to make an upset versus the seven seed. That was the seed. bar. Okay, yeah, okay, that was so the that bar. Was, some yeah. shit like that. I'm paraphrasing. You see, I'm, like that's how much we had belief in the Lakers. I'm paraphrasing. A healthy but, Lakers. Guys, uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Who you guys think is going to win MVP first? It's going to be first. a very divisive topic. Jason Tatum, uh, Luka Doncic. Um, am I even saying his last name right? Whatever. Fuck it. Um, uh, yeah, let us know where you guys... <laughs> yeah. Uh, just going on a tangent, man. It's early in the morning. And where do you guys think, whether either or that you pick, do you guys think they'll win it this year or next year? Or never. Um, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe never. I mean, truth be told, maybe none of these two become MVP. Yeah. We've got a bunch of young players coming in for the gunning. Yeah, man. John Morant. Your boy. John Morant. Bam John Morant. Bam. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's my boy. LaMelo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Edwards grew an- another two inches, and he had that Jordan quote. You heard that? Yeah, for He's real. Like, Don't let me grow two more inches. Uh, I'm going to become Jordan out here. Some shit like that. I was yeah. like, Ooh. So, Shit, I like it. So before we sign off, man, we appreciate all the love and the hate. Lamelo, you gotta, you gotta pull the fuck out, man. What's up with Charlotte players, man? Not being able to pull out. Wait, what do you do? He PJ Washington, pregnant? he got that bitch pregnant. That no, thirty-two. Lamelo? Yeah, supposedly that thirty-two-year-old uh, IG thought. No, like, I didn't like, know that's that. That's the rumor. Pull, Damn. Yo, pull out, man. Even your dad tell you, man, you're not gonna find a good woman, man. All these girls are like going up to you, man. They're hoes. You know that's gonna happen. You know when BTD's at five hundred thousand. Yeah, I hope good. that's a rumor. Okay, whatever. I'm going on a tangent. Um, you guys can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all podcast uh, platforms. Before we sign off, 85% of y'all that are watching this are not subscribed. Do something about it. I know we can do it. Catch you guys soon. You gotta say please, bro. Nah, fuck yeah, man. Uh, catch you guys soon for now. Take Later. care.